from Hustle Sheets and today I want to show you guys a dashboard that I built for a client and the purpose of this video is to show my potential clients and people who are building dashboard um, dashboards on Data Studio um, what is possible so it's going to help on both sides I think because for me uh, when I was learning how to build Data Studio dashboards it really helped to see a finished product and basically see what's possible and then again for clients it's helpful to see um, exactly what they can do with their data so this is basically a, um, a company similar to, I guess, uh, Uber. Um, they pick up and drop off company, uh, customers. And what we have here is in this Google Sheet, he basically um, exports data from a CRM in a CSV format. And um, so there's basically two tabs of data. One is an employee hours, which is basically like a payroll of all of his workers. Now I've changed all of this information to have a bunch of you know random names and random numbers. Um, but you know, you get the idea. So, uh, he, what they'll do is they'll export from the payroll software once a week and then they'll paste it into this Google sheet here. Right. And then the dispatch is the same thing. Now this has uh, data such as like the date of the trip. They have marketing sources, uh, passenger names. I've deleted some of this stuff. Um, but pickup address, drop off address, uh, pickup time, you know, they deal with a lot of, you know, arrival times, onboard times, things like that. And then, you know, there's a total amount paid, the total miles. And so what we've done here is we've um, connected this as a data source to this data studio dashboard. So instead of looking at this messy spreadsheet, you can actually look at it on this dashboard and analyze this data. So let me walk you guys through the main parts of this dashboard. Um, so this is going to default to show the last 30 days of data. So right now there's not that much data anyways. There's only about two weeks of data, right? And on the top right, we're going to have a main section where we show the main metrics, the, the five key main metrics that the client wants to see. So, so over the next, over the last 30 days, you know, they've done this much revenue, this many total trips, this much revenue per trips on average, um, this much revenue per mile, and then this is the total payroll that they have. And then over here, we have a couple of filters. What you can do is, um, this is incorrect right now because I've just readjusted this, but what you could do um, is click on this and then it'll have all the driver name pops up, pop up and you can basically select the driver names and then same here with the marketing source. Actually, I can update that right now. So it's quite simple. Once you have all the data connected, you can basically just change it to a driver name. Uh, let's change the name to just say driver and then this one, we're gonna change it to the source. What happens sometimes is when you when you um, when you reconnect data sources like I did with the fake data, it kind of comes out a bit incorrect. But so, yeah, they can basically click on something like this and then the entire dashboard will update and only show data for this particular driver. But we're going to select all the drivers. And then this is a time series chart that shows that breaks down the revenue and trips by week. What we can do is we can drill up to see the data grouped into a month. So for September, we can drill down to see it broken out by individual day, right? And then we can even like add optional metrics if we wanted to. What this is, is um, this is just a bar chart showing the different revenue, the revenue amounts um, and average fare by their different payment methods. So they take payment methods by account, by credit card, by cash, and by check. And you can see here that most of the revenue comes from um, account payments and then, you know, followed by credit card and so forth. And then you can see the average fare is, is pretty close between all of them, but the highest among credit cards and cash. And then here they get their trips um, from different marketing sources or different businesses. I've changed the names here, but basically you're able to see which source is the most um, profitable for you guys or generates the most amount of revenue. So this can be broken down as well. This here is going to be a um, total revenue generated by driver. So we can just look at this quickly and see who his top performing um, drivers are. You can also sort this by um, ascending or descending order, and then you can see who the lowest performing uh, drivers are. And then this part's really cool. So there's basically a bunch of addresses that are here. And what, he, what we can do is we can take these addresses and then create a bubble map essentially showing um, where, where the most volume is. So you can see here on the left side is, a, is all of his pickup addresses. And on the right side are the drop off addresses. So you can take a look at this and just basically get a visual of where all of your rides are coming and going. So that's kind of cool to look at. 
Um, this chart is very cool as well. This is a pivot table that essentially shows him the trip density by hour and by weekday. So you can basically just look at this very quickly and see that Wednesday at 1 p.m. is when you're going to have the most trips, right? Um, and then you can see here that uh, basically Wednesdays are quite busy and then generally around um, 11 to 2 seems to be his peak. And then with like a bump at 10 a.m. as well. Um, he can see here that at Friday at between 3 and 6, there's not really any rides. So you can basically make your decisions business decisions based on this type of data. And then here are the main five metrics, but broken out by week. So you can see the trips revenue, revenue per trip. You can also drill down to see this data um, by day and then drill up to see it by month as well. So the following page now is going to be a uh, driver so this one um, is essentially all driver information the first page was an overview um, same thing so this one has year-to-date information you can filter it by a specific driver if you wanted to um, this one's incorrect so don't pay attention to that uh, but what's cool is you can do things like um, if we for example hit apply filter here okay so now how this is going to work is it's going to break down the driver information um, with the main uh, five metrics um, over this entire period, right? So we get, this one is the highest revenue earner um, and so forth. And what you can do, and then this second chart is going to be um, broken out over time. So this one's totals, and then this one's broken out now by time, right? So the week ending in October 4th, it's gonna, he's gonna have this much revenue, this many trips, this many miles, and so forth. Um, and then down here, um, some of this data is incorrect, but essentially the driver, and then he wants to find out the amount of revenue per dollar that he pays out. Um, so this number was here correctly, total revenue um, and total pay, just to kind of help see things a bit better. And then on the payroll side, um, this is just how much each driver has been paid um, each week, right? Uh, but then we can also kind of click on this chart here um, and then it's going to filter all the data to show only this driver's information. So this is a great way to have like an like an overview. So you can use the filters either here or here. But maybe as you're scrolling through here, you see something that catches your eye. Then you want you can just click on this and then kind of dive further into this driver's performance and things like that. So all in all, I thought this was a great dashboard to show because it it has so much information from just a couple of spreadsheets and essentially all. The client has to do is just paste in these csv files right so csv files are a great way to use uh, google sheets and google data studio to build dashboards um, if you guys have any questions um, if any clients want to reach out to me i'm going to put my my contact information in the description below and then if you guys want to learn how to build these dashboards i'm going to come out with a course soon to show you guys how to build dashboards using google sheets and google data studio so make sure to uh, check the links in my descriptions Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, comment below if you guys have any questions. Thanks.